We are at the Lahaina Pali trailhead on the west side. Um, so we're at the parking lot that <laughs> that's right off the highway. Um, and we're going to hike up to the windmills and then back down instead of doing the through hike. The parking lot on the other side, on the east side, um, we heard that there's like cars getting broken into and the road to get in there's a little rough if you don't have a 4x4, which we're in the Prius. So we're going up and back down, and it's about 90 degrees. It's like 90, it's about degrees. 90 degrees. What time is it? Three o'clock? Three o'clock. We decided to do a sunset hike. Don't really know how long it'll take us, but it's hot as shit, and we brought a lot of water, and we're gonna bring you with us. The first part starts on this old road. We just came up off the road. Now we're into the dirt and the rocks and uh, much nicer. I don't think I'd be stoked on hiking on a road the whole time. Um, I'm glad I wore my hiking boots. Part of me really wants to be a minimalist where I like wear no shoes, unshoes, you know? I don't feel that way at all. Very grateful that my feet are protected. <laughs> But my tennis shoes are pretty uncomfortable, so I went with my Terex hiking boots, and I'm glad that I did it, so. Mm -hmm. Pretty hot out here. So, I don't think I've really checked in about any of my gear that I bring with me when we're out and about, but it seems worthwhile to mention that today, 90 degree heat at 3 p.m., carrying a GoPro with a bunch of accessories, my drone, the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom with a bunch of accessories and batteries and a protective case. I'm carrying my Sony a6300 mirrorless camera with a bunch of extra batteries, a case, extra lens, tripod, and I'm carrying my GoPro Hero 7 black with a bunch of different accessories as well. Plus probably like four or five liters of water and it's all on my back right here. So as you can see, I'm sweating my ass off, but at some point I'm gonna do a video about all the gear I brought with me on this trip and run through exactly what I bring and what I use. Tried to film one before I left, but it was pretty corny. It was the first video I filmed and I didn't really like how it turned out, so. I'll probably make one at the end of the trip and share kind of like what I use the most, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I didn't use, things I thought I need, things I think I need. But as of now, I am really liking my setup. The DJI Mavic 2 Zoom is small enough to bring around with me with batteries, so that's really nice. My Sony a6300, it's small enough and light enough that I can carry around. And the GoPro that I'm filming on right here. I really like that as well. It's not the best audio quality in the world, but it's so easy and functional and the parts are so interchangeable that this is what I end up using the most. A lot of these videos are shot with simply the GoPro and my Sony. So if you're thinking about getting into it, uh, feel free to ask me any questions, drop a comment, happy to share whatever I can and answer any questions. And if you don't give a shit about all the technology, sorry for wasting the time in this video to talk about it, but 
there are some people who are interested, so that's why I'm sharing. Studio. And my life really feel like a movie though Hella twist and turns, I really can't discern What do you do before? Is it money? Is it fame? The attention I gave you was never gain It was truth, maybe loose But it brought you to life, gave you a boost Let's call it truth If you cool with that, then we can move in fact I don't even know if I was too react, how would you take it? Five in the morning and now I'm thinking about you naked All of my homies that say I shouldn't entertain it So I'm sitting patient, I be with my friends and things is kind of flagrant You be doing the most, I'm trying to shake it So don't get too turned, cause them shoes hurt When you step out like you new work in my new shirt with my white kicks Crisp as fuck, I'm no sidekick But I know you fuck with me, low key luxury In my palace, just kiss and touch me Ain't no telling where I might go Type a text to a nigga on your iPhone Hella emojis, if I was in your jeans I'd probably never, ever, ever turn the lights on We just took a break for Alex to fly the drone and the three of us are profusely sweating, wondering if we're ever gonna make it to the windmills. And then we hiked over the next little ridge and boom. We're almost there. There they are. And we found some shade, <laughs> literally. Thank God. Dripping sweat. When we got to the trailhead, I thought it was so weird that there was no one else in the parking lot. Like, oh my gosh, we have the trail to ourselves. Literally, we're the stupidest people to go hiking at. <laughs> it's literally 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees. This whole trail is in the sun. Um, now I know why no one else was in the parking lot. <laughs> Just straight up. I've never been this sweaty, except maybe this morning at hot yoga, but we are out here for a reason. Alex wanted to make sure that we hiked um, during the golden hour. So if you're not gonna be videoing the entire hike, I don't recommend doing it at the hottest part of the day. <laughs> Sweat dripping. Me, melting. Get that workout. <laughs> Tried to come here the other day. Not here, but like across the highway on the other side, the water side, we tried to go fly the drone at like 5.30 right as the light was getting dope. And I I had not brought my whole drone bag. I just brought the drone and the propellers and like the bare minimum of stuff that I needed, I thought. And then when we got there, we drove all the way from Kihei over here to fly the drone. I had forgot like the wire. One of the propellers I grabbed was a broken old one. And so I couldn't fly the drone at all. And so this is our second attempt at getting here. So, yeah, I figure if we we got a hike in and got to fly the drone, that would be like way better than just pulling over on the side of the highway. So even though it's hot as fuck, it uh, sorry mom, it's for a purpose. Audrey, how happy are you to be hiking right now? I'm happy that we're almost there, and um, happy to be with my friends. Yeah, yeah. Daddy, daddy, mama, I'm so sorry. We don't want no trouble, we just wanna have it our way. Me just wanna love you, but you won't do it the hard way. The hard way, the hard way, the hard way, the hard way. 
listen up closely Got the blunt roasting My friends think I got problems But they really not do know me Call it how I see it Everybody ain't your homie Alex is a faster hiker than me, so I like to be in front, and then when he can't stand it anymore, he'll go in front of me, and he'll take off like a gazelle, and then he'll stop and take a bunch of photos, and I try to catch up. That's what's happening right now. Well, actually, it's not true because I stopped, but the sun is behind a cloud, and it's windy right here on the edge of this cliff, so we're enjoying the breeze. Here he comes. Let's try to run it. I've never been whacked. Star life for show. Reef for blowing for show. Sunroof wide open. I swear that shit was so cold. Back when Marshall was slim, and Jigga claimed that he broke. And 112 had my favorite song with Mace in the world. Daddy, daddy, mama, I'm so sorry. We don't want no trouble. We just want to have it our way. Me just want to love you, but you won't do it the hard way. 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 This is a triumphant moment. We've made it. <laughs> we made it to the top. Yay! They're really loud. Kind of interesting. I didn't... I mean, duh, makes sense, but... I didn't realize how loud they would be. I feel like we're here. I think we are. What an informative sign. And sweet, sweet wind. I can tell why they put the windmills up here. So we just wanted to let you guys know about our uh, beauty products that we're using right now. We um, are going to be selling this shimmer. It's going to be coming to a Sephora close to you very soon. It's called Sweat. I mean, it's called um, Glow. Glow by Laura and Audrey. <laughs> okay, drone's going up. And we're going to not talk until the drone is not right there. Like I was saying, just kidding. Um, we are super hot. Uh, what time is it? Four. I think it's just about 4 p.m. Yeah. It's only four. I think it. No, no, it's 4:46. It's almost here we five. Go. It's almost five. Yeah. Um, I think we made it up here pretty quick. The hike. It says it's two and a half miles up to the windmills. Uh, 1,600 elevation gain uh, feet. Elevation gain. And 90 degrees. In 90 degree heat, um, in the sun on Maui. Um, direct sun. Direct, in the direct sun. Um, this was a pretty cool hike. That's, maybe that's not the right word for it. Dope. This is a dope hike. <laughs> um, there's not much to see, but you do get some well, except for epic the ocean. views yeah. of the ocean. So it's we haven't seen any wildlife really except for crickets maybe a lizard um, we're spoiled about seeing the ocean here on Maui because just about everywhere you look uh, you have ocean views so it's pretty epic oh, can you see that behind us yeah. I guess I could move it's everywhere. out of the frame so <laughs> it's everywhere water um, favorite part about the hike favorite part about the hike were the brief moments of shade <laughs> No, the views, the, the wind, views. the wind, <laughs> the end here. <laughs> no, it was, so a, it, was a, it was a beautiful hike. It's just very, very hot. Yeah. I'm not used to that being from the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'm still acclimating to Maui weather. And it's hot as fuck all the time. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Um, I recommend hiking boots if you have them. Bring lots of water. Um, good tennis shoes. You're gonna be climbing up rocks. Um, it's not a very flat trail. Yeah. Lots of sunscreen. Make sure you put it on before because the minute you start hiking, you're gonna be pouring sweat and it will be very difficult to put more sunscreen on. Um, lots of water and we recommend bringing a drone too. <laughs> so that you can have views like this. Your best friends to motivate you. Insert drone footage right now.
you're new to our channel, uh, please give this video a like, subscribe to The Detourist Guide. If you want to support Alex and I and what we do, you can go to patreon.com slash The Detourist Guide and kick in a little bit to help us continue to create this free content that we put out for your enjoyment. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.